In this video, I spoke briefly about how I haven't made the best style choices in the past and that gave me the wonderful idea to look at a bunch of my older outfits just to see how bad they really were. So in this video, we're going to look at 10 different outfits that I've worn in the past and we're going to give them a rating on a scale of 1 to 10. Some of these outfits are really bad guys, I am not looking forward to this, but let's get right into it. I guess most of these outfits I wore in high school, so it actually makes a lot of sense. So for the first outfit, we are starting off with an absolute banger. We're rocking a pink Stussy shirt, a NASA bomber jacket it looks like, a grey and white pair of joggers, and some black NMD R2s. So here's what the outfit looks like. This one is really bad. I can't even look at this for extended periods of time. Who let me dress like this? It looks like this photo is from 2017, so very early days of high school for me, but man, I, I don't know what to say. I'm speechless. I can't believe anyone in my family let me go outside of the house like that that's insane i think for this absolute atrocity we're gonna we're gonna give this a solid two out of ten this this one's pretty bad i don't think it can get much worse than this so this next outfit actually doesn't look too terrible we're rocking a yellow pullover from champion some black distressed american eagle jeans and a down vest from north face to top it all off so here's what the outfit looks like. Like I said before, guys, I don't really think this one's that bad. The yellow is a little bright, so it's kind of in your face, and those jeans are definitely out of style today. But honestly, like if I saw a high schooler wearing this fit today, I wouldn't think it was that terrible. This was taken in 2019, by the way, so towards the end of high school for me. This is just the second outfit, so I don't want to go too high here, but I think I think I'm gonna give this one a solid seven. Or actually, no, let's go six and a half. We're gonna give this one a six and a half out of ten. Pretty bad. I probably wouldn't wear this today, but not terrible for what it's worth. All Alright, so this next fit looks like it was during my sort of hype beast era. So going from top to bottom, looks like I'm wearing some Wayfair sunglasses. We got a black bathing ape tee. Looks like a black shoulder bag, some clean white shorts, and of course, a pair of white Air Force Ones. And here's what the fit looks like. Honestly, for a summer fit, I wouldn't say that this is all that bad. It's honestly kind of clean, like the huge color contrast between the black top and the white bottoms doesn't look too good, and I would probably ditch the bait branding as well just because I don't really care for that too much right now, but honestly not the worst thing we've seen. It looks like this photo was taken in 2019, and I'd probably give it a solid 7 out of 10, yeah, I think we're gonna go with 7. Speaking of 7, I still have 7 more of these outfits to look at, oh man. All right, so this next fit is one that literally lives in my nightmares. It's honestly a really simple fit, but it's so bad at the same time, I can't even look at it. Anyways, what I'm rocking in this fit is a very bright orange pullover sweater, some skinny blue faded jeans from American Eagle, and a pair of Yeezy 350 V2 Beluga 2.0s. Oh my God, that's a long name for a shoe. I really don't wanna do this, but here is what the fit looks like, guys. This, this one's bad. Oh man, this one's bad. I still have this pullover in my closet right now and I really couldn't think of a single occasion where I could wear it. Maybe on Halloween or something, I don't know. But yeah, anyways, here I am looking like a pumpkin. Those jeans are absolutely terrible. I actually don't think I bought those jeans though. I was trying them on in the American Eagle and I sent this photo to someone and I'm pretty sure they talked me out of it. So thank goodness I have people around me with eyes. This fit is pretty bad, but I think it would be easy to fix. I just have to wear some more loose fitting jeans and I changed the color of the pullover sweater. And after that, I think it would look pretty solid. But unfortunately, those are not the decisions I made. So for this fit, I think I'm going to give it a solid three and a half. This one, this one is pretty bad. I also forgot to mention that this fit was from 2018. So a while ago, I would never wear something like this now. All right, so it looks like we're getting to a little bit of a weird e-boy phase with this next fit, but from top to bottom, it looks like I'm rocking a gray short sleeve button up, a white long sleeve tee underneath, and a black belt on some slim fitting faded blue jeans rolled up at the bottom. So here's what the fit looks like. The sort of half tucked, half untucked look. It was an intentional choice. Um, and I think it's pretty fashionable, just not in this case. I cannot pull it off and I'm definitely not doing it correctly. So that's pretty bad. I think the fit has some good elements with the long sleeve under the button up and the belt on the jeans, but my main gripe with this probably is the colors. There's just a lot going on. We got the white, the gray, the blue, and the black belt. There's just a whole bunch of contrast and not enough cohesiveness in this outfit. It looks like this photo was taken in 2019. And honestly, I'd expect that from me four years ago. So I think we're going to give this one a six out of 10. It's it's not great, it could be better, but it's also not terrible. This next fit is another one that actually physically hurts me to look at. From top to bottom, I'm wearing a multicolored long sleeve and collared shirt from Stussy, those same black distressed jeans that we've seen before, and a green pair of old school Vans. So here's what it looks like. Oh, this one, this one is just terrible. Oh man. 
You know, this is a photo of me trying it on in the store. So I sent this to someone and they gave me the okay to buy this shirt. So uh, I don't know what to say. I'm pretty sure after I bought this, I only wore it like once or twice. But man, there's just too much going on. You know, you've got the collar. It's a long sleeve. It's pink. But then you've got stripes in green, blue and red. I think it's just way too in your face. Not to mention the rest of the fit absolutely does not match whatsoever. I think if I had to wear this shirt now, I would probably wear it tucked into a pair of slim fitting chinos or jeans. But yeah, this photo is from 2017, so we're gonna go a little easy on the me from six years ago. Honestly, I see the vision. The vision was there, it's just that the execution wasn't. So I think we're gonna give this one a five and a half out of 10. Could be better. Looks like we're right back into the e-boy phase with this next fit. From top to bottom, I'm wearing a short sleeve black polo from Ralph Lauren. Got a white long sleeve tee underneath. We got a black belt on some navy slim fitting ABC pants from Lululemon and of course the white Air Force Ones. Here's what the fit actually looks like and it's honestly not that bad but what is going on with my hair? Who let me go outside like that? That haircut is absolutely atrocious. I cannot believe I even thought for a second that it looked okay. I know I'm supposed to be rating the outfit here, but I think I actually am going to dock some points for that haircut because that is absolutely insane. Anyways, the outfit itself actually isn't too bad. I think my main gripes with it once again are going to be that heavy contrast with the white sleeves and the white shoes compared to the darker pants and top, but honestly, it's still not the worst thing that we've seen. I think without whatever that terrible haircut is, I would probably give this outfit a seven, but because of that i think i'm just gonna give it a six we're gonna go with a six for this one so this next fit is a little bit more recent which is probably why it looks a little bit better than what we've seen so far but from top to bottom i'm wearing a green mock neck from uniqlo got a wool black jacket on top and then some gray ankle pants also from uniqlo here's what the fit looks like right now and honestly like if i'm being 100 percent serious i would actually probably still wear something like this today i think the mock neck or turtleneck style is pretty timeless We've got a bunch of varying colors in here, but they don't contrast each other too much. And it's overall a pretty well-rounded sort of fall or winter fit. This photo was taken in 2020, which is probably around the time that I very, very thankfully discovered Uniqlo. I actually really like this fit, so I think we're gonna give it an eight out of 10. This next fit is actually probably one of my favorite outfits of all time. From top to bottom, I'm rocking a white turtleneck from Uniqlo. On top of that, I've got a black sort of kimono style jacket. I'm wearing the same gray ankle pants from before, and I'm also rocking the special force air force ones in black so here's what it looks like i actually really like this fit guys usually i'd have problems with the color contrasting between light and dark but i think it actually works really well with the white turtleneck and the subtle white hints from the socks we've got varying colors but they're all pretty neutral tones with the black white and gray and it honestly is a pretty well-rounded fit this outfit is from 2021 so considerably more recent than some of the other fits we've seen in this video but Honestly, I'm gonna give this one a nine out of 10. This one is pretty up there. So I had to save the best for last with probably one of the most atrocious outfits I have ever had the audacity to put on. I'm pretty sure you guys are already gonna cringe just from me describing it before you even see the photo. But from top to bottom, I'm wearing what looks like a white t-shirt. On top of that, I have a yellow flannel. And on top of that, I have a distressed blue denim jacket. I'm wearing those same distressed black jeans from before and that pair of NMD R2s that we've also seen earlier. This, uh, this just sounds terrible. I apologize in advance that you guys had to see this, but here's what the outfit looks like. Oh man, what was I thinking? There are just so many things wrong with this outfit. I don't even know where to start. I think if I just had the flannel on top of the white shirt and maybe if the flannel was red, this would actually be a pretty okay outfit. But for some reason, I decided to wear a yellow flannel for this outfit and wear a distressed denim jacket on top of that. It looks like I sort of cuffed my jeans at the bottom there too. I, I guess that was in style back in the day. I would never do something like that now. Man, I probably thought I was so cool posing for this photo as well. If only I knew how bad I looked, oh my goodness. This is a photo from 2017, so quite a while ago, but I still had standards back then. Like, come on, man, you gotta do better than that. I think this is probably the worst fit in this video. I, I'm honestly gonna have to give it a one out of 10. There's, there's honestly not too much that's redeeming about it, so I think a one is a pretty fair score. Anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. I think it's always fun to go back and look at some of my old outfits just to see how my style has progressed over the years. A lot of the outfits in this video were really bad. So thankfully I've grown out of a lot of those phases 
and I'd like to think that my style is a lot better now. But with that being said, I'm still growing as a person and developing my own sense of style. I have a lot to learn when it comes to the world of fashion, so I'm looking forward to seeing how my style changes over the next couple years. But let me know what you guys think. Do you guys agree with my ratings? Do you think any of them should be lower or higher? Let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to hear your opinions. If you enjoyed the video, I would really appreciate it if you dropped a like and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Thank you so much for watching till the end and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.